वेलकम क्लास ट्वेल्थ हियर वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर टू लॉ स्प्रिंग्स आई वॉन्ट टू ड्राइव अ कार चिल्ड्रन यू आर वेल अवेयर दट डीज स्टोरीज हैव बिन टेकन फ्रॉम द लॉन्ग बुक रिटन बाई अनीस जंग विद द नेम लॉ स्प्रिंग स्टोरीज ऑफ द स्टोल एन चाइल्ड हुड थ्रू दीज स्टोरीज शी हैड ट्राई टू प्रजेंट द लाइफ ऑफ the poor children who are denied the opportunity of schooling and forced into the labor early in their lives the plight of these children is portrayed very beautifully through the pen of the writer so let's know about the story of another now poor child that is mukesh who belong to firozabad Mukesh insists on being his own master. I will be a motor mechanic. He announces. So here in this part, we come to know that how this boy Mukesh, who belongs to the poor bangle making family, he dreams to be the motor mechanic. That is quite different from his own life scenario. Let's know. He in the second part of the story, Anish Jung, the writer, takes us to the poor and the polluted environment of firozabad and we are coming to know about the life and the dream of the poor bangal maker boy with the name mukesh so here the writer is explaining that how when she proceed to firozabad she gets a chance to meet this poor bangal maker boy that is mukesh Mukesh insists on being his own master. I will be a motor mechanic. He announces. Family. He dreams to be the motor mechanic. That is quite different from his own. Now to know about his dream, the girl was much surprised. She asked, "Do you know anything about cars?" I will learn to drive a car. He answers, looking straight into my eyes. The boy replied very confidently and said, "If we don't know, he would learn this now car driving." His dreams looms like a mirage amidst the dust of streets that fills his town, Firozabad, famous for its bangles. But mirage, mirage means illusion or such hope or wish. that has no chance to be fulfilled now the girl writer feels that the dreams of this boy appears to be an illusion amidst the dust of streets that fill his town firozabad so she feels that in such dirty and polluted environment so such no dream would never be fulfilled famous for its bangles every other family in firozabad is engaged in making bangles so every family in firozabad they are involved in this bangle making industry it is a center of india's glass blowing industry where families have spent generation working around furnaces welding glass making bangles for all the women in the land it's furnace means fireplaces so here every family in firozabad they are engaged in making bangles and firozabad is the center of india's glass blowing industry where all families they are from the generation they are involved in making and working around the furnaces welding glass making bangles for all the women of the land it seems mukesh family is among them none of them know that it is illegal for children like him to work in the glass furnaces with high temperatures here the girl is putting light that the people of firozabad they are so poor that they are unaware about the law and order of the country so they never knew that to take the work from the children below the age of 14 it is illegal so she very the writer is commenting on the ignorance of the people of firozabad who involved the children in this industry at a very early age and least realize that it is illegal for the children to work in such hazardous environment mukesh family is among them none of them know that it is illegal for children like him to work in the glass furnaces the law would be enforced sincerely here then all these 20000 children along with mukesh would be free from such hazardous condition often losing the brightness of their eyes so due to working here they are often becoming blind 
Mukesh eyes beam as he volunteers to take me home. Beam here means shines or excited. Now Mukesh become very happy when he took the writer to his home, which he proudly says is being, which he informs is being rebuilt. Thus we walk down the stinking lanes, stinking bad smelling streets, chalk with the garbage, past homes that remain hovels. Hovel stands for the cottages or huts with crumbling walls. Crumbling, crumbling means broken walls. Wobbly doors that means unsteady doors. No windows crowded with families of humans and animals coexisting in a primeval state. Thus they walked together through the bad smelling streets which were full of garbage and the homes which had turned into the broken huts and have the broken walls and had the unsteady doors without windows and the families they were coexisting with the animals just like the people used to do in the primitive age. She is the wife of Mukesh elder brother not much older in year she has begun to command respect as the bahu the daughter-in-law of the house so this girl actually may have married early but she has gained respect in this family as a bahu that means the daughter-in-law. Already in charge of three men, her husband, Mukesh and their father. Now she has become the in charge of these three men, her husband, Mukesh, their father. When the older man enters, she gently withdraws behind the broken wall and brings her veil closer to her face. As When the older man enters, she gently withdraws behind the broken wall and brings her veil closer to her face. So on the entry of this old man, that is the Mukesh father, she went behind the broken wall and bring her veil closer to her face. So she covers her face. As a custom demands, daughter-in-laws must veil their faces before male elders. So as is the Indian custom, she covers her face with the veil. In all the daughter-in-laws, they have to cover their faces before the male members or the elders. In this case, the elder is an impoverished bangle maker. Impoverished, impoverished stands for financially weak. So here, the elder one is the poor bangle maker. Despite long years of hard labor, first as a tailor, then a bangle maker, he has failed to renovate a house, send his two sons to school. So here the girl informs this man, he had worked hard, first as a tailor and then as a bangle, bangle maker, but he failed to rebuild his house or send his children to the school. That means he failed to educate his children. All he has managed to do is teach them what he knows the art of making bangles. So their father could only train them in the art of the bangle making. That was their family work. It is his karam, his destiny, says Mukesh's grandmother, who has watched her own husband go blind with the dust from polishing the glass of the bangles. When the girl had a talk with another family member of Mukesh, that is his grandmother, she said that all is written by God in their fate to live and die in the poverty. This lady, she had watched her own husband going blind due to the dust and polish of the glass spangles. Can a God-given lineage ever be broken? She said, we cannot change our fate, how they can break the line and the success. All he has managed to do is teach them what he knows the art of making bangles. So their father could only train them in the art of the bangle making. That was their family work. This lady believes in the destiny. She said, we cannot change the things written by God in their fate. So that's why they cannot change their fortune. Born in the caste of the bangle makers, they have seen nothing but bangles in the house, in the yard, in every other house, every other yard, every street in the Firozabad. So all the people belonging to Firozabad, they have seen the bangles everywhere, in every house, in every yard, in every other house and in every street of the Firozabad. Spirals of bangles, sunny gold, paddy green, royal blue, pink, purple, Every color born out of the seven colors of the rainbow lie in the mounds in the unkempt yards are piled on four wheeled handcarts pushed by young men along the narrow lanes of the shanty town.
Spiral stands for the coils of the rings of the bangles. The writer says that you can see the bangles of every color that is sunny gold, paddy green, royal blue, pink, purple, every color of the rainbow lying in mounds. Mounds stands for in the piles, in the unkempt yards. Unkempt, that means untidy, are piled on four-wheeled handcarts pushed by young men along the narrow lanes of the shanty town. Shanty, dance, that stands for the dimlet. Huts. Shanty means the dim lit houses. So you can see in the dim and dull houses. So these spiral stands for the coils of the rings. So here the writer says that you can see the coils of these bangles of every color that is sunny gold, paddy green, royal blue, pink, purple, every color born out of the rainbow lying in mounds, in the piles, in the unkempt yards. Unkempt stands for the untidy are piled on the four wheeled handcarts. So you can see in the bundles the people they are taking these bangles on the handcarts pushed by the young man along the narrow lanes of the shanty town. Shanty stands stands for the town that is full of crudely built huts. So here you can see that how in the shanty town the people they are keeping the bundles of these bangles of every color and crossing through the narrow streets of Firozabad. Thus people born in the caste they have seen only the bangles of various colors. And in dark hutments, hutment stands for the dim lit small hearts next to the lines of the flames of the flickering oil lamps. Flickering stands for the unsteady light. Sit boys and the girls with their fathers and mothers welding pieces of colored glass into the circles of the bangles. And thus the young boys and the girls they sit together with their parents to weld. Weld means to join. To join the pieces of the colored glass into the circles of the banger. So thus they join the small glass pieces to form the coils of bangles. Their eyes are more adjusted to the dark than to the light outside. So here that's why many of them, they lose their eyesight before they become adults. So next is given the detail about another child liberal, that is Savita. Savita, a young girl in a drab pink dress, drab means dull colored, sits alongside an elderly woman soldering pieces of glass. So this girl is also forced into the work of this bangle making. She is joining the pieces of glass to make the coil of the bangles. As her hands move mechanically like the tongs of a machine, so her hands, they have become so much in the practice of making bangles that she is working right now like the tools of a machine. I wonder if she knows the sanctity of the bangles, she will then become a bride like the old woman beside her who became one many years ago. So when she will get married like this old lady, she would understand the auspiciousness and importance of these bangles in the lives of the married women of our country. She still has the bangles on her wrist but no lights in her eyes. So really it is ironical, the lady who is making the bangles being it is really ironical the lady despite being old doing this work but she has no light in her she will then become a bride so when she will grow up she will become bride and had to wear the bangles at the time of her marriage and would understand the auspiciousness of the bangles in the lives of the married women in a country she still has the bangles on her wrist but no light in her eyes so this is really ironical that the old lady who is doing this work due to the poverty she is still working but she has no light in her eyes that means that she has lost her eyesight due to the poverty line in her life Ek vakt seer bar khana bhi nahi kaya. she says she complains about her living
एक वक्त शेर भर खाना भी नहीं खाया शी सेज इन ए वॉइस ट्रेंड ऑफ जॉय शी हैज़ नॉट इन जॉयड इवन फुल मील इन हर एंटायर लाइफ टाइम सो दिस ओल्ड लेडी कंप्लेन्स अबाउट हर पॉवर्टी बाय सेइंग बाय डूइंग दिस बैंगल मेकिंग वर्क दे हैव नॉट इवन इन जॉय फुल मील इन देयर एंटायर लाइफ टाइम डेट इज वॉट शी एज रीव रीव मीन्स रिसीव सो दिस दे हैड रिसीव इन रिटर्न ऑफ द हार्ड लेबर इन देयर लाइफ her husband an old man with a flowing beard says i know nothing except bangle ek waqt sher bhar khana bhi nahi khaya she says in a voice trained of joy she has not enjoyed even full meal in her entire lifetime so this old lady complains about her poverty by saying by doing this bangle making work they have not even enjoyed full meal in their entire lifetime that is what she has read Reap means receive, so receive in return of the hard labor in their life. Her husband, an old man with a flowing beard, says, "I know nothing except Bengal." The writer here wonders that what this old man was able to achieve. Many have failed working throughout their life. He has at least roof over his head. she says that this is a common complaint of every family that is involved in the bangle making business that there is not enough money to eat the young man echo the lament of the elders lament means to complain even the youngsters they were also complaining like the elders little has moved with the time so very little change has come in their living in the present time it seems in ferozabad years of mind numbing toil have killed all the initiative and the ability to dream nothing has changed in the city over a period of time all the initiatives and dreams of the youth have got lost in their hard work initiative that means she says that this is a common complaint of every family that is involved in the bangal making business that there is not enough money to eat to see their pitiable condition the writer suggested them why they are not organizing themselves into the cooperative society it could help them to come out of the clutches of the middle man as they had also trapped the fathers and forefathers due to the debt even if we get organized we are the ones who will be hauled up by the police beaten and dragged to jail for doing something illegal but the informed about horrible truth that if they would get organized they would be stopped were beaten and put into jail for doing something illegal they say there is no leader among them no one who would help them see things differently as thus they have no leader no awareness about their rights their fathers are as tight as they are so their fathers used to be as tight as they are in their youth they talk endlessly in a spiral that moves from poverty to apathy to greed and to injustice thus they inform and complain that their life was just like the spiral they are making of the bang- bangles these people they complained that their life is a continuous process of moving on in the poverty and that's why that poverty lead to face the indifference of the society apathy stands for lack of concern or indifference and that indifference lead them to be greedy and to do the crimes and finally that lead to injustice so that's why they were stuck behind the bars and they had to face the indifference by the upper caste people of the world listening to them i see two distinct worlds one of the family caught in a web of poverty now after talking to this group of young bengal makers now she come to know how these poor bengal makers they are trapped in the web of poverty and she understood about two distinct worlds where they belong to poverty first due to the burden by the stigma of the caste in which they were born stigma means dishonor she understood they were caught in the web of poverty first of all due to their birth in the poor family so they have to bear the dishonor and disrespect in the society the other a vicious, vicious circle of sahukars 
the middleman the policeman the keepers of law the bureaucrats and the politicians vicious circle is a financial condition in which if the poor people try to grow up or raise their standards so they are stuck to live behind vicious circle is a situation in which the solution of one problem can create the chain of the problem so that is what happening with the poor bangal makers together they have imposed a baggage on the child that he cannot put down thus both these distinct worlds had put the pressure and responsibilities on the young children that made them to follow their family tradition before he is aware he accepts it as naturally as his father yes before becoming the part of the vicious cycle of their life to do anything else would mean to dear if they have to try to do something else that would need the confidence that is never the part of the upbringing of the poor children both these distinct worlds had put the pressure of responsibilities and loans on the young children which they could never put them down before he is aware he accepted as naturally as his father so just like his father before realizing he starts becoming the part of the vicious cycle of the poverty of their family to do anything else would mean to dear if they really want to do something it would need really a challenge and daring is not part of his growing up but the daring that means the confidence it is never the part of the upbringing of the poor children that means they are not reared up in the circumstances it means that they are not reared up to be bold and strong like the children of the rich families both these distinct worlds had put the burden of responsibilities and loans on the young children which they could never put down before he is aware he accepted as naturally as his father so just like his father behave they also start trapping themselves into the vicious cycle of the poverty to do anything else would mean to dear if they want to change their living it would need a bit confidence and that means if they want to try anything else it would need the confidence which they when i sense a flash of it in mukesh i'm cheered when the girl observe this spark of courage and determination in the boy mukesh she was much delighted i want to be a motor mechanic he said with confidence that he dream to be the motor mechanic he repeats he will go to a garage and learn he said confidently he would go to garage and learn the skill but the garage is long way from his home she was still doubting about the goal of the boy she said the garage is long way from your home he replied he would walk up to it he insisted do you also dream of flying a plane he suddenly said then again she cross checked him by asking if he had the dream to be the pilot and fly the plane he become silent he has no reply no he sees staring at the ground he start looking downwards in his small murmur there is an embarrassment that has not yet turned into regret in his small murmur there is an embarrassment that has not yet turned into regret embarrassment means perplexity or difficulty no doubt he was refusing about such high dream but there was no repentance to dream such he is content to dream of cars he is satisfied with his dreams to be the motor mechanic that he sees hurtling down the streets of his town so the cars he was seeing that were rushing on the roads of firozabad few airplanes fly over firozabad though there was the air service in firozabad that means that this means that these children are well aware about the advancement of the world but still they are firmly rooted to the ground and their dreams are restricted up to the surrounding where they survive so that's why mukesh only wanted to be a motor mechanic never dreamt
to be the pilot and never and never dreamt to, to be the never ever dream to be the pilot or fly the planes